quite literally, we've waited two years to film this video. What's up everybody, how's it going? If you're new around here, my name is Nick Lanza, this is Carant, and today I'm so excited because I have waited two whole years for these parts. I can finally showcase to you a set of wheels that has been hiding in the background for the better part of five years here on Car Rant. If you're not familiar, I had an Evo 8 that I loved and cherished and wanted to really spec the thing out. And several years ago, a friend of the channel, his name's Corey, he actually gave us a set of wheels that he had got when he was in Japan. These wheels are OG original Desmond Koenig specials. As car guys, we know that things don't always go as planned. Sometimes we hit problems that we don't have the money to fix, so we put the project to the side and it sits. Sometimes we get emotionally burnt out on a project or give up on it. And sometimes we make plans but never follow through because life gets in the way and we forget about them. But today, that changes. This, oh. Yeah, it's heavy. That's what it really is. So these are our Koenig Super Specials. We have had these since 2017, I want to say. Maybe 2016 when I first got them. I'm pretty sure it's 2017 because we got these as a gift from a friend of ours. And they have quite the story to them. <laughs> you see, our friend used to be a serviceman who was stationed in Okinawa, Japan. One of his mates there actually had an Evo 6.5 that he had purchased these wheels for. But sadly, the Evo 6.5 was wrecked, and as payment for helping his friend take apart the car, he got these wheels. Now, after several years of having them sit around, we're finally going to breathe some life back into them. We're getting these wheels resized, re-lipped, re-barreled, and refinished to put on our Evo. Now, if you've been a part of the channel for a while, you've actually seen these wheels in the background for many, many years. When I was living in the basement apartment, to when I was living with my dad, to even in the shop in Ashburn. They've always been hiding in the background, whether it's pieces of them or them full-on displayed. Sometimes little allusions to things here and there, but we never came out and said what those wheels were. And today, now, you get to see for the first time what these old school set of wheels have now been transformed into. And I mean, come on, <laughs> look at these. Look at how beautiful this is. This powder coat job was done well over a year ago and it still holds up well. It's amazing how good powder coating actually is. I myself am entirely new to the whole powder coating thing, but this lovely, Cadillac gray. It looks black in some angles. It looks gray in others and charcoal in certain lightings. It is such a beautiful color and it's part of the reason why I wanted to go with that for these wheels because again they were originally meant to go on a yellow car. Now they're going on to what will probably end up being a red and black car. So hey why not go with something for a little bit more contrast. And I will say that we also do have actual OEM center caps for these. I know that center caps is a very big deal in the three-piece wheel market. It can be very hard to get them sometimes, <laughs> but we did in fact get the center caps. We even got some new stickers to put onto these wheels so that they can be as original to the original Desmond setup as possible. After years of waiting, FedEx guy came through and uh, I haven't opened these yet. Clearly you can see the tape, my shipping label still on this thing. Let's just, let's get right to it. Let's just say my roommate's cats are gonna love this. Oh, 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 oh baby, oh man. These are big. <laughs> I just hope that they're not messed up. Oh yeah. That is amazing. Six inch barrel, custom made by the guys at VR Wheels. 
and it's the right hole amount because, you know, it turns out not every wheel uses the same hole specs. And the barreling is made very nicely. That is, that is precisely what I wanted. So they did package them in two. Yes. All right. <laughs> I'm like a kid at Christmas because <laughs> I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep the lips taped so I don't mess them up. But oh my good. Let's just, hold on. Hold on. Editors, you might want to black this out. And the nice thing with this construction is that it all fits where it's supposed to. Oh, no, 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 the face fits pretty good. Oh, baby, oh, baby. <laughs> These are way bigger than I thought they would look, and they look so much better than I thought they would look too. All right, time to pack the cell back up and head on south. Let's go find our boy Brad. Let's put these suckers together. After we double checked all of our hardware and made sure that everything fit the way it was supposed to, Brad got to work setting up this wheel. I specifically asked for his help because Brad is actually very familiar with three-piece wheels and has built well over 10 sets of wheels just for his own personal use. In other words, if anyone's gonna understand how to put this together and torque it to the correct specs, it's gonna be this guy. And I feel much more comfortable knowing that my prized possession, these three-piece wheels, Wheels from Japan are in the best hands. And after the agonizing task of putting in 40 bolts with 40 nuts and each wheel, we finally have a completed set. That's, yeah, that's where it's at. I'm in absolute shock and awe at how good looking these came out. These are multiple years in the making and they turned out better than I ever could have expected. The Cadillac Gray offers a lovely hue shift between this charcoal gray with metallic flake to an almost jet black in certain lighting. And the gold, of course, looks stellar up against this color, matching also with the center cap. Sized up from a 17.8J to a now 18 by 9J. These are gonna be absolutely fat wheels and they were originally meant to go on the Evo. Though sadly, I don't have the Evo anymore. It's now with my friend Bill. It's still, still a cool homage to have the gold and black because well, the yellow and black was the theme and moniker of that car to begin with. Even though these wheels are not gonna end up on the Evo at all and more than likely live on a wheel stand for a while, it's still nice knowing that I finally did these wheels justice and got them built with a good friend of mine who really helped me understand the multi-piece wheel game because honestly, I'm not all that familiar with it, but I've learned a ton thanks to the help of Brad and many others. Now I just gotta get a really, really nice stand to stick here in my apartment so that I can sit there and just ogle at them every night and dust them off and keep them nice and clean. And who knows, maybe I'll get the centers polished and eventually with my new business, I'll definitely be wrapping them in some very nice rubber. It's just really, really nice knowing that I finally crossed off a bucket list item. I own a set of really, really cool vintage JDM three-piece wheels, and not only do I own them, I rebuilt them and customized them myself to a very specific setup, and it looks stunning. As is, I've already had offers from people who know me personally because they like the way it looks and they want it for themselves. And uh, Brad, if you're watching this, no, you can't have my Coindex, but I'll help you find another set for yourself. But with all that said, stay tuned because we're actually gonna be picking up a vehicle for these wheels in the next episode. And I think you're gonna be really, really surprised at what we end up getting instead. With that, God bless y'all. We'll see you next time and happy holidays.